all right guys this is that uh that tool bag review i was going to give you with the vest and and uh the new bag i'm um somebody i somebody had asked if if i do a a video on the new bag or a uh, review on that so uh yeah let me get to the intro we'll come right back All right, guys. So, like I said, this is a a uh, review on the bags. I'm not gonna go over. Um, you can watch the other video. I know it was in my early stages of doing YouTube, but it kind of makes sense about this bag here. I'm not gonna get into it. The belt's still the same. The Badger belt. It just has. I, all I did was get the um, straps. So, before I jump into this, I want to get to how I got to this because on that on one of my videos I did. Um, I think it's called uh, Patch. Uh, porch patio part two i kind of tell you like i'm over diving back and i'll give you reasons why before i jump into that bag so here is this was the this is what i was rocking i was rocking this bag here for my right hand pouch you know this bag was great um you know it's got a lot of room you can you know you can stick your chalk box in here i've already went over this bag the only thing i didn't really like about it is that you know you putting your different types of tools and stuff like that once you have you know i always carry my gun my uh my gun here and it, the hammer and all that stuff gets in the way kind of gets in the way so i keep my rock knife in here so you you know you'd have a lot of tools floating around and you're trying to grab your tools because you, you know you, you got your back sideways you know it's just pain so i looked into a mazo now the way the dude had it set up was like you know you can have so much organization you're gonna have so much organization with this thing this thing's gonna be cool but you can see the difference i mean they're about the same height and this one's a little bit like really skinny compared to this one if you can see that you know but it's still this is still compact you know this is still so when i got when i started looking at this one I was kind of hoping because on the, on the way they review it is, you know, they have all these places where you can put your tools at and, you know, you can stick, you know, your kios on. But the problem with this is like you put your kios on here and you put, you know, maybe you put this in here. You know, that you just ate up, you ate up that whole pocket. Like there's, you're not going to be able to put anything else in here anymore, you know you're not going to be able to use these so these are gone these two are gone now um you can it's it's a pain in the ass to fit a full size chalk box in here once you have you know you can see it collapses that inside pocket with just that one chalk box to stick something in here you see how tight that is and mind you this is me putting it in you know this is the bag in my hands you know this isn't, I'm wearing the bag and I'm trying to put this on while I'm working. That's two different things. Doing this and putting stuff in here while you're doing this demonstration or review, it's not the same. It just isn't the same. You know, so you can see this bag is starting to get filled up, you know. Maybe you can put another, maybe you could put another thing in there, but see how you got to, I mean, there's not that much in there, you know and you're pretty much loaded you got no more room it's, it's gone you know there's no more i know this is supposed to be like they're you less weight less whatever but i mean you gotta carry something all right get a keel saw in there maybe a rasp maybe it ain't gonna fit uh, what else can you fit i mean 
this is just well, this is what pretty much turned me off like I, I got this bag thinking you know it'd be nice you're gonna be able to you know put something in here but still use these and it, it's not like that it's not like that at all your snips kind of go in here you know you can kind of try to get your snips in one of these holes but you know we're talking about moving fast you know when you're moving fast this is the small i mean this is this is how far back you've got to reach and you know you miss and it's just i don't know i just thought it was kind of again i go back to the bread and butter man i go to i go to a badger website and they have a trimmer which this comes off the trim set but they sell it separate i wish now that I think about it, not wish, but I should have got it with this just to keep it the same. Because they do have it longer with another pouch like that. Um, now he's he's with Occidental now. He's with Occidental. So, um, you know, but just to give you the review, now we can get to the review of this bag. And you can see how it's almost the same thing. I showed you how tight and everything kind of fits in there, you know. Same height and all that. So let's... I'm gonna show you how badass this bag is. So let's say we want some snips. Check this out. You can put them here. You can put them here, which I wouldn't put them here because you can it bottoms out. It's already bottoming out. But you know, you can put them here, which that's perfect right there. You can put them here. I mean, you can put these things anywhere, right? Let's say you want to carry. I mean, I, I, the only reason I started using these because one, I really don't use them on the job site, but they are nice to have when you need them. These are good for hanging drywall when, let's say you have a sheet on the wall and you're up on a big parry or a big scaffold or a scissor lift and you need to get that sheet, you're, you're hanging the sheet sideways because you're going 22 feet high, 28 feet high, and you need to get that sheet to move down because it's it's sitting on top of each other. Two sheets are sitting on top of each other. You just gotta get that one inch over. Dig this in between the joints or between the two factories, however you're laying the sheets down. Push this through, turn, that sheet will move. You'll, you can walk the sheet over with this knife. That's one trick. One of these days I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a little a video of it, me showing you how to do all that stuff. Or if, if you don't know, or if you do know, I'll still do it. Um, so, plus I didn't want this to go, I didn't want to, have something else hanging off the bag. I didn't want to have another bag so I can have a, a like a little, nah, I'll just buy this, slap it down, throw it in there, right? You can fit that. Here's your rasp, you know. You know, you can throw it in there, bam. What else can you put in here? Need another pair of snips? Well, you know what, if you need another pair of snips, throw it in there, bam. There's another pair of snips. You need a knife. You have a rock knife around here? Let me see, where's a rock knife? Throw it in there, bam. Or, you can put it in here. Nice and tight. Markers, knife. But that's if you even need this, right? They're just, I'm just showing you how, you know, what it is like filled up, you know? Throw on some channel locks if you need some. You don't need that. Hey man, you need some need to cut wire in your, your way. You gotta cut some wire up in the ceiling because you know the dudes didn't demo it out when you're hanging your metal studs. Bam, there you go. All right there, all separated. Look at that, all separated. You don't need your keyhole saw, don't worry about it. Throw in, you know, here, nail pullers. Let's get a nail puller in here. Look at this nail puller, bam. All separated, everything is separated. You can even put the nail puller in here. It has room for that, right? Well, maybe probably not that, but you can fit something else. Bam, look at that. Whatever the thickness of this is, and it's comfortable. Look at that. And you still got more room for more stuff back there. You can fit, what else can I throw in here? And throw this thing in there. Bam. Got your spot. It's on the side. You can reach for it. Look at this. You, need, you got a bigger tool, you got a pipe wrench. You can fit two of those things in this slot. So this bag is, it's, they got it going on guys. 
they they figured it out they they figured it out so that's just a quick review man you know of uh this bag here of what you can put in there compared to these like i was saying see all these slots like nothing's gonna get mixed up you know that's what i like about it you're gonna keep this in there right you know when you put your hand in here you're gonna feel for it you're gonna be able to put it back in you're gonna be able to grab this pull it out and you're gonna be able to put it back in and here you know you have these slots that are pretty tight so you gotta make sure you hit it hidden you gotta hit them but you gotta remember this thing's looking sideways right so this is how big those holes are then if you use the big pouch you're gonna have everything kind of if you're moving pretty fast, right? You're just moving fast. You're gonna have everything in there. And you're trying to, you know, and you're pulling this out and this thing comes flying out too. This right here is right in there, right? But you're never gonna carry, you know, you're never gonna carry a kicker, you know, with these. But I'm just, you know, even that, if you stick it in there. And look how deep that goes. So, and this one too, like I said, like putting that much stuff in this bag, it was already stressing out. And I know it's not intended for that, but they, like I said, the way they made it seem was like it could hold more, maybe able to do more. But you put you put a, you put a chalk box in there, maybe a couple pencils, I guess. Maybe that's what this is designed for. Maybe I got it wrong. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe I got it wrong. I was trying to do too much with that thing. But after getting that and seeing this, it's just day and night. It's just day and night. Um, the only, I think the only two things I got, the only two major, um, two major things. Well, yeah, I, you know, I got the Dimeback, um, gun loop, which, I mean, you could have it there. You don't have to use it. You could, don't have to, but we'll see how it goes. The only, the only, the, you know, these are all the pros. The only two cons I have with this bag, the only two cons I have is a one. And this is one of the main reasons I didn't say it in the first video that I made last year. The hammer was, it slides out. I don't know why it slides out. I don't know why it, as you work it and you start to bend over, the hammer will start to slide out. So I don't know if that's, intent, if, that, if, if there's a reason behind that, because you'll see in one of my videos on, on the porch, uh, when I'm building that porch, it was like two weeks ago. Um, you see me working and the hammer, as I, you can see the hammer floating out in front of me. It didn't, it never fell out, but it was floating out. And you know, I had to tap it in, but you know what? If that's all it is, but I get all this stuff and I can put everything and arrange it like I want to, hey man, you know, not everybody makes the best tool. Not everybody makes the best bag, best bag, but Badger, they, they're hitting it right now. They're, 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 their bags right now are, they're, they're just, they're on the next level. Um, you can see, it ain't me, I'm not just saying this, you know, all this I bought, nobody donated this to me. Uh, I didn't, um, um, I didn't get this review, like I, they didn't send me this shit. I had to buy, physically buy this shit. And it sucks, you know, to have the money to buy that and spend it and, you know, you don't get what you want, right? You just, that's the shitty part. But you finally get to where you, what, what you want, which makes it all worth it, right? You tried it, you got it. But there's other people on YouTube, not just me, man, that are having complaints about the dime back bags that are, you know, they're getting them, they're buying them, you know, some won't fit tape measures. You know, they don't do this, they don't do that. So I don't know what they're doing, but these guys here, and, and that's another thing too, all those guys that are having those videos, it's always from dime back, they're going to switching the Badger or, you know, they're complaining and then thinking about switching to here because these guys, I don't know, they just have it figured out. They just have it figured out. Um, the you know so that's the uh, review on this pouch here. Uh, if you want me to shove something else in it, um, the other the only difference is between the trimmer and the carpenter is that this one will have this one will have um, will have that. It'll have this extra pouch on top. And. Um, yeah, oh yeah, and getting back to the two complaints about the hammer, that's one of the main reasons, sorry to get off topic, but uh, or to go on a quick rant, but that's one of the main reasons why I didn't want to get this bag, I had doubts, because there's a guy who reviewed it and said, yeah, man, that's an issue, but like I said, it didn't fall out, and it stood inside the bag, and if that's the only issue, hey man, I just, you know, you barely hit it, it falls right back in, you know, but 
who knows? You can, like I said, you can't have it all. And then the other, the other thing is they don't. Man, what's going on, Joel? You know, no stickers in the box. I bought, you got. I got the bag. I got the suspenders, and you don't send any stickers. That's come on, man. I, I had spots in my hard hat, uh, ready to put put stickers, put stickers and decorate my hard hat. And uh, yeah, man, that's that's another thing. No stickers. You get Diamondback stuff. I got Diamondback stickers on that. Occidental sticker. I had it all laid out, man. I was gonna put you right in the front. Get that Badger blue uh, blue collar briefcase sticker. So I don't know who's controlling the stickers, man. You gotta tell them stop being stingy. Give those stickers up. Whoever's hoarding them in the back, jo Joel, you need to tell them, hey, man, you look, you need to put those back in the boxes. Those ain't yours. Uh, so yeah, that's the only complaint. One of my complaints because I bought this, the belt, and the straps, and no sticker. Come on. Give me my sticker, man. Send it, send that UPS next day shipping. Ah, so, you know, but you know, Diamondback still's got a spot. You know, I'm still gonna rock the, I think the 777 or whatever this thing's called, pouch. You know, I'm still gonna put my clip, my clamps in there. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna still keep my, my, uh, you know, my little thing here for the, hold my pencils on my, on my, on my chest here. Same thing with my cell phone coat. I'm gonna pull that off, put that on the other side of the strap. I mean, the little baggies. There's, I mean, I'm not gonna completely bash Diamondback and say they're not good. I mean, they're great. It's just their bags, man. I don't know. So, you know what they're coming out with. I don't know. Even their, even their bigger that double two-sided bag they came out with. It's huge. You know, it looks like this one. It's huge. So, I'll do a quick review on the vest. The vest is great, guys. This thing is great. Um, the best, the best is good, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. This is this is a good vest. For, for whatever reason, you 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 don't feel the weight on your shoulders with this thing. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how they did it, but you literally don't feel the weight on you on your shoulders um, wearing this thing. You think it'd be, you know, this thing would drag and you, you know, be setting on you and making your arms like try to pick your arms up. You wouldn't be able to. You know, it'd be oh, you know, it's not like that. The only issue with this bag, and I worked in the summertime, I'm, I mean, I'm out in Arizona. So I worked out in the summertime, bazillion degrees. It was, last year it was humid. It was a bazillion degrees outside. I was out there, I got a video of, um, the only issue with this thing that I have with it, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna say this thing was bad, I liked it, is that you have to wear this thing like a girdle. You have to, you can't just have it loose on your body. You can't just put the shit on and, and have it all loose and have all these things loose and, and you know, all these little things loose and just go free balling it. It doesn't work like that. And uh, they even tell you on your website, like you gotta keep it snug to your body. You gotta keep it snug. And that's the only thing that I hated after wearing it and wearing it and wearing it, that, you know, when you keep it snug to your body, you have to, uh, you know, it's mobility, man. It's, you know, you're moving, you're going through trusses, you're going, you're working in dirt, you're moving around, you know, you're constantly moving and it's just, it's, it's, you, your shirt's getting, your shirt's getting pulled on, you feel it rubbing against your body, it's, you know, it's tight, you know, it's, it's just different, man. And I tried, but it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just different. Um, somehow they got to figure out, maybe they can put a buckle on this thing, to take the weight off of having all of it strapped to your chest. But then again, that just brings you back to having one of these with some shoulder straps. So, I don't know, I'm not an engineer, uh, by no means. I'm just reviewing this thing or what. And this is all my personal experience, guys, so you might get this thing and love it. You might be like, hey man, that motherfucker don't know shit. You might love it. I'm not saying this is the end all and be all. I'm just giving you of what they got and what these guys are getting. And right now, these guys, if you're looking, I mean, they got it going on, they just do. They, look at this thing. So, back to this thing. It's all good and everything, I mean, but, you know, this is more, the way, I, the, when I was comfortable with this thing, it's like if you're standing on a ladder and all your work is up high and everything you're, you're doing is just chest, you know, you got your gun and you're pulling out screws and, and everything's right there and you're kind of not moving, this thing is the shit. This thing is the shit. But if you're jumping and moving and rolling and all that other shit and doing this, man, hell no. It's just... It's too much. I don't know. I just, I just, I, I couldn't make it work. But um, so that's the review. A quick review on this thing. It's a good belt, good system, but they need to, I don't know, figure something out um, or something. Or maybe I was doing it wrong. You know, 
who knows all i know is what i can tell you but um so that's a review on that thing that's my review on it and uh yeah you guys have a good one